Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This beginner workout, we're focusing all on upper body. So we'll do a little back, biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, and a little bit of core as well. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. There are the weight amounts that I'll use in the workout. I'm also going to use a bench or something to lie on. If you don't have one, that's totally fine. You can use the floor instead. Your format will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between, and we're gonna hit everything for three rounds. And hey, if you're looking for a program for the month of June, 30 Solid is starting in Move Daily Fitness. You can click or tap the card at the top of the screen or take a look in the links below and see what it's all about. It's gonna be a great month of moving daily. Let's do this workout though, and move daily. All right, hitting a strength on my watch. Let's get started. Uh, knees are soft, front and back hinge. Get that upper body warmed up and begin to increase our blood flow. That helps release synovial fluid into our joints and ligaments, all right? That's important that you warm up before you begin to lift heavy things. Very good. All right, take it wide, a little squat and open in the chest. One more here. Good, hinge forward at the waist and we'll do a single arm circle here. Switch directions on that. And switching sides. Switch directions. Good, and we'll tap it out right in front. Up and over, big stretch. And let's front push this right here and tap. Now overhead press. All right, take it wide again. And we're gonna to touch your opposite hand to toe. Reach that other arm up behind you. If you can't touch your toe, touch your knee, that's fine. More here. Good. Hands on the shoulders. Rotate. All right. There's the first circuit. Take a look and let's get started. I'm starting with the one arm row. You can prop yourself up here and just row or you can use a bench. I've got a 10 pound dumbbell. I'll call halfway, we'll switch sides. Nice flat back. All right, neutral neck and we drive right here. Of course, you can go lighter. Always start lighter and you can work your way up as we move through the rounds. And you wanna test and see how the weight feels in that first round. One more here, and switch your side. And drive that elbow toward the ceiling. I'm gonna grab my other 10 pound dumbbell. We're gonna sit on the end of our bench and go ahead and hit a hammer curl. Palms face the legs, you're nice and tall. Shoulders back, and we curl right here. Straight up and down. All right, 
Think about flexing the bicep right at the top. You kind of want to squeeze that muscle. Squeeze and don't swing at the bottom. All right, we're gonna to come to standing and move into a pinwheel curl. Now you could lighten if you'd like. Knees will be soft. We're gonna cross in front of the body with those weights. Shoulders low and back again, All right? And stick your chest out. So we curl here and switch. Again, now we're flexing because we've switched the position of the wrist. We're now focused on the peak of the bicep instead of the long head of the bicep. A little bit of a different focus. Of course, you can do this with two, three, five pound dumbbells. Again, you want to start so that it feels like you're starting to fatigue a little bit toward the end, but you could do a number more reps. All right, now into round two. You could go up in your weight amount now, depending on if that was heavy enough for you or not. I'm going to stick with the 10. All right, nice flat back, and we row. Drive it up. Again, I will call halfway and we'll switch. And switch your side. Your leg is out and back if you're using a bench or a chair or something to kneel on like this. When you're thinking of retracting that shoulder blade at the top. Let's go down to that seated position for your hammer curl again. <clears throat> nice and tall though. Again, palms are facing the legs and lift right here. Right up and down. Nice. Come to standing and into your pinwheel curl. We're crossing in front and flexing at the top. And we curl right here, alternate. Now my torso stays still. I'm facing the front. I'm not twisting like this. Okay, you're facing the front and just crossing in front of the body and flexing at the top. Round three. Now this is the time where you don't want to leave too many reps left in reserve. So test to see if that was heavy enough for you. You might need to lighten, you might need to go heavier. I'll call half and we drive and retract. One more here and switch arms. Have a seat. 
seat. And we sit to do some bicep curls because when we stand, sometimes we can use our lower body to help propel the weight up. Sitting is slightly more challenging. All right, palms facing and you're up. Okay, and final one here with the pinwheel curl. And then we'll move to chest and triceps. And cross in front. Keep that wrist locked and neutral, don't let it bend. Very good, a little water break. Pause the video if you need a longer rest and take a look at the screen and this is what's coming up next. All right, I'm gonna use my bench for this next set for chest. You can lie on the ground if you don't have a bench. I think I'll stick with my 10 pound dumbbells on your back or on the floor. All right, we're gonna start wide and we're gonna turn and squeeze together at the top and come back down to 90 degrees. So we start wide, turn and press, back to wide and turn and press. Stay over the chest, all right, not the face. We're gonna move into a tricep kickback. You can go lighter, maybe a three or a five. I'm gonna just pick a five pound dumbbell here. I'll call halfway, we'll switch sides. Hinge here if you don't have a bench, all right? Otherwise, let's kick it back here. So a nice flexing of the arm, of the elbow, or sorry, of the tricep. But the only joint moving is that elbow joint, okay? No movement in the shoulder. Stay still there. One more here, and switch your side. Elbow up and kick, good, and kick. Okay, on your back again, and we're moving into a Tricep press, so palms are facing. We're gonna straight up and down and flexing at the top. Here we go, come down and press. If you're on a bench, come down to 90 degrees on the elbow. If you're on the floor, you can touch the ground with your elbows and press straight up. Okay, stay down here. We're gonna move back into the wide, narrow chest press. 
I'm gonna stick with my 10 pound dumbbells. Of course, you can go lighter or heavier, whatever works for you. Start wide and turn and squeeze. Very good, come to standing. Take your time if you're dizzy. Back to that tricep kickback, all right. Again, I'll go half. Hinge at the waist, nice flat back and elbow high. And then we kick and pause. Switching sides, kick and pause. <laughs> that pause actually is so good to activate those muscle fibers in the tricep. If you just swing it, you just don't feel it near as much as if you just pause for a second. It's work, isn't it? Even with the five pound dumbbell. Very good. Let's go to your tricep press. And again, palms are facing each other and you're straight up and down on this guy. And stay down there for the next exercise as well. Here we go, and we press and down. Right, stay down here, and we'll start at the top again with your wide narrow press. Start wide, turn and squeeze, and you're up. All right, up for the kickback. Again, I'll call half. Elbow up, and we kick. One more here switch. All right, and last one in this circuit, back to your tricep press. On your back, palms facing. Good tricep exercises in this workout. Excellent, here we go, and we press. In essence, we had six sets of tricep exercises, right? 
three per exercise, so that was six. If you hit this workout again sometime this week, toward the end of the week maybe, that would be 12 sets, and that is what's required for muscle hypertrophy, for muscle growth. Anywhere between that 10 and 15 sets in a given week. So this would be good to put on repeat. Just give yourself a couple of days in between before you hit it again. All right, water break coming up, and now we're gonna move into some shoulders and abs. Let's start light. We're gonna start with our two shoulder exercises and then we'll go to the ground for our abs. I've got fives, but go to twos or threes if you'd like. Like, we're gonna do single, single double lateral raise. Stick your chest out. So you're up, other side up. Now together, we're coming to 90 degrees on the armpit there. You really wanna stick your chest out the entire time though. So knees are soft, butt out a bit and chest out a lot. And up. All right, roll the shoulders back. We're gonna move into some front raises now, but palms will face the ceiling. All right, we're gonna do again a single, single, double front raise. These are soft and we work. So single and single, now together here. You can cross the body slightly there. It targets a little bit of our pec minor, a little bit of chest as well as, well as that front shoulder. And double here. Take it down to the ground. And we're gonna go into an ab heel drop. You can lie on your back with your head on the ground here, okay, as a modification if that hurts your neck. Otherwise, we're here on the elbows and we tap it out and tap. Really want you to reach your heel way away and tap the ground. All right, we're going to flip it over into plank position. You can modify this uh, from the knees, okay, here. I'm gonna take it from the toes. I'm gonna tap side to side. So pop it up here and tap. If you don't wanna tap, again, you can modify by holding or right here from the knees. All right, make your way to standing and round two, back to our single double lateral. I'm gonna stick with fives, but you can do twos or threes. Here we go, and just single, single double.
All right, roll your shoulders back. And again, palms are up. A little bit of a cross body, cross body, and then front raise combo together. Shoulders back, knees are soft. So we cross and cross together now and up. down to the ground for those abs. Heel drop to start. Lying flat on your back or up on your elbows. I'm gonna go to the elbows here and alternate. We tap. All right, flip it over. Scratch your foot if it's itchy. <laughs> Mine is. Let's go into that plank. From the knees to mod, or you can tap right here. Now if this hurts your wrists, please feel free to just hold a plank here from the elbows and knees. Okay, lots of options. Your neck neutral. Final round. All right, back to your lateral raise. Quick sip for me. Single double. shoulders back. Let's move to that front raise. Again, palms face the ceiling. Stick your chest out. Single, single, double. There we go. And we lift, cross, and up together. When the weight is in the front, it's really easy to round your shoulders. This is why I say stick your chest out. And each time I come to the bottom, I sort of reset anew, right? Like here, stick your chest and up. Let's make it our way down to the ground for the final two abs. And then we'll stay down there and stretch things out. You can join. All right, heel drop. 90 degree knee and we reach. Switch.
Okay, last exercise, flip it over. From hands, elbows, knees, or toes. Whatever you can do. Let's finish strong. Here we go, and we tap. Last 10 seconds. Stay strong. Almost there, folks. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your upper body sculpt. I'm feeling strong. Love it. Thanks for joining. Join for a stretch if you can. And don't forget to check out our 30 solid challenge. Links are in the description below. We're gonna do a standing stretch today. So find something in your house where you can open your arm up. Okay, we wanna open up into the chest here. So maybe the back of your couch, a chair, or a wall. And just stretching into those pectoral muscles right there. Ah, oh, mine are tight. <laughs> of course. Working on a computer and on the phone, that's what happens, they get tight. All right, other side. Good idea to stretch this regularly though. You know, taking a little break from your desk, standing, going between a door frame, Putting a hand on each side and leaning forward is a great way to stretch that out. Very good. Okay, let's take that one hand, put it behind your back, and we're gonna pull it that way and tilt your neck gently the same way. Now chin sorta comes up, eyes look at the ceiling there, you'll feel that neck extensor stretch. Another good one if you are on a computer lots. Mm. And switch sides. Gently pull and tilt and look. There it is. Very good. Let's take this elbow, draw it in, stretching that middle back, a little bit of your rear shoulder muscle here as well. Just try to separate those shoulder blades and switch sides. Do you have uh, stretching and flexibility and mobility protocol as part of your routine? You should. <laughs> it's an important thing that we stay as flexible as we can. Hands behind the back, drop the shoulders and stretch the chest. Um, we, yeah, it's one of those things. It's like an elastic band. If you leave it for too long and then it just becomes fragile and brittle and it just snaps so quickly. So if we use it, you won't lose it. Uh, so I think it's important to incorporate specific mobility exercises and stretching into your day, especially if you have tight muscles, right? Especially if you're feeling like one side's not functioning as well as the other because of a tightness. And so often our vocation, uh, our daily activities can lead to that because they're repetitive. And so we can get this imbalance from side to side. So it's good to have that tested. You know, you can do that at a physiotherapist and have those your postural alignment tested. I've had that done before. I actually took a course on that. It, it was really interesting. They hung a plumb line from the ceiling and then we just stood here and you could see like if you had lordosis or curvature of the spine or if you, you know, if your back arched a lot. Um, and then exercises to do to offset that and strengthen the muscles that were weak and stretch the muscles that were tight. So really important to do. Arms back, thumbs down. Uh, I definitely recommend protocols of that. I'm actually working on a little mobility, flexibility, balance, uh, and stability program. It's gonna be out probably this summer sometime, so keep an eye open for that because I think it's important. I wanna do more of that and I hope you do as well. All right, thanks for joining. Here's the link to the 30 Solid. It's only available in June, 2023. So if you're watching this past, sorry, it's over. But if you're uh, watching it current, click or tab there and join us.